Welcome back to Mondays with Mike. I promise this is the last week you will have to see me in these clothes and in this very seat. Uh, although if I can get a day like today uh, with this background behind me every time, I would take it. Uh, didn't intend for this to be the third segment or installment in a series, but uh, you know I tend to talk too much sometimes. So I'll, again, I'll try to keep it brief. We're talking about the shift from New York City uh, or an urban center, if you're looking at this uh, you know, video somewhere else in the country, to the suburbs. Um, we talked a lot last week or last segment, uh, if you're binge watching these, about how there was already a, a kind of a generational shift in, in housing usage in place. And we have millennials that were already starting to trend towards the suburbs. Uh, so what do we expect to come from this? I talked last week about uh, people starting to look for houses with an extra room that they can make an office. Uh, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. If any of you are like me and you've tried to work from home for the last three weeks without interruption or minimal interruption, doesn't work very well. Very, very hard. The kids always know when you're working at home and they always wanna get on camera uh, or, or ask you a question right when you're calling an important client. <laughs> so uh, I think we are gonna start to see uh, businesses look to have suburban outposts. Not everybody's gonna be comfortable getting back on the Long Island Railroad uh, or some other form of public transportation. God knows in New York City, we can't afford to have everybody driving in every day because it's already a traffic nightmare. Uh, so I, I think we're already starting to see bigger employers looking for suburban outposts. Uh, it's cheaper per square foot. Uh, and remember, employers are already, aren't, uh, employers, I'm not gonna make this even go to the blooper reel, because this is too long a segment as it is, you'll live with the bloopers in the video. Uh, employers are under pressure to spread their employees out and to keep them safe in the workplace. Uh, so it's cheaper to do that in the suburbs. I think that a lot of them will still maintain a New York City presence. I've named a few already like Facebook that are inking big leases. TikTok is another one that inked a big Times Square lease in New York City in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, New York City is always gonna be there. Uh, but I think that employers will start to be more focused on getting people comfortable working from home sometimes, maybe reporting to the suburban outpost, and then having a smaller footprint uh, in the higher rent area, uh, like New York City, Midtown. Um, another thing that I think we're going to see, and this is kind of specific to the millennial generation, is uh, more mixed use areas where we're going to have housing, maybe multifamily mixed in uh, with retail, restaurants, and the office space. You know, we're talking about things that you can bike or walk to if you wanted to, um, not necessarily have to get in your car and drive through suburban traffic uh, to get to work. Um, if any of you have ever been to the Philadelphia area, the King of Prussia Mall kind of has something like that going. I could see Roosevelt Field uh, Mall and the surrounding areas in Nassau um, maybe work well for this. We're already seeing uh, some multifamily, like along Old Country Road, uh, that, that maybe would be a little bit of a distance to do on foot, uh, but by bike and, and by a short car ride, uh, most definitely. Uh, those, are, those are big shifts, and on Long Island, that's not gonna be easy because Nassau and Suffolk have mostly single-family homes. Uh, local government has to get behind this initiative also. It can't just be builders uh, who are looking to innovate. Uh, people have to embrace it, and that's gonna take some time. Uh, but those are, I think, the longer-term trends, and We'll have a new fresh topic for you next week. Uh, hopefully everybody's enjoying their summer and we'll talk to you then.